I'm Maddie. And I'm Shaw. Welcome to your final episode before winter break. What are you drinking? Hot chocolate, of course. And that reminds me of our random fact of the episode. Let's hand this over to Piper. Hey, Sydney, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Piper. I'm just researching hot chocolate for a school project. Oh, that's so cool. Have you found anything interesting about hot chocolate? I have, Ashley. Do you want to follow me over here and look at this book? Did you know that January 31st is National Hot Chocolate Day? Yep, on each year, January 31st, a National Hot Chocolate Day warms up people across the country by celebrating the timeless cold weather beverage. And that was your random fact of the episode. Speaking of warming up, parents, the weather is pretty cold. Yep, let's look at the seven day forecast. <sighs> it's been really cold outside lately. I wonder what the weather looks like for this week. Let's ask Diveron. I'm sure she'll know. <sighs> I can't feel the apricity. What's apricity? This week's word of the week is apricity. Apricity means to feel the warmth of the sun on a winter's day. And that was your word of the week. Oh, that sentence makes way more sense now. Speaking of things that don't make sense, let's hear our joke of the week. These jokes never get better. Uh, yeah, that, it's gonna be pretty cold out. That reminds me of a joke. Is it, wait, is this a joke with a week skit? No. Oh, okay, um, what, what's the joke? What's this snowman's favorite breakfast? Uh, what? Frosted flakes. I knew it, where's the camera, where's it? Wow, that was a really bad joke. I know. Hey, guess what time it's for? What now? The quote of the week. <laughs> Hi, Piper. Hi, Devron. What are you doing? I'm looking for a book. This one looks interesting. Hmm, why is that? This book just really stood out to me. Hmm. That reminds me of a quote. This week's quote of the week comes from Aristotle. To appreciate the beauty of a snowflake, it is necessary to stand out in the cold. Hey, I never thought about that. Yeah, I really like that quote. Speaking of standing out, I wonder who the lucky hair and call out winners were. Bro, bro, what, what, what? Mr. Oliver gave you a hand call out. Really? Yeah. Dude, yes. Yeah. I've been waiting for so long for this. What did I even do? There we go. Like, I mean, you have to be safe, respectful, or responsible. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Oh, wait, how do I turn this in? Uh, in the office, I'm pretty sure. Oh, all right. Can we go now? Yeah, let's go. Is this it? Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, come on. Yeah. to go down to the office to claim your prize. Hey, you know what I've been wondering? What? Hot chocolate or coffee? Which one is better? Coffee, of course, but let's see what the hair is. Hot chocolate or coffee? C coffee, 100%. Hot chocolate or coffee? Coffee, all day long. 
Now, kind sir, I humbly ask you, hot chocolate or coffee? Uh, probably hot chocolate because I'm not allowed to have coffee, but if I did, was allowed, I'd have coffee because I love mocha. No. I know, this is this kind of a weird question. I'm just saying. But, hot chocolate or coffee? Coffee. Yeah. Hot chocolate or coffee? Um, I make my own hot chocolate and it's the best. Nice. Hot chocolate or coffee? Uh, probably coffee. What would you rather, hot chocolate or coffee? Hot chocolate. Okay. Hot chocolate or coffee? Uh, hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Nice. It's time for one of my favorite segments. Really? What's that? Hot seat. Let's hand this over to Sean Jackson with Miss Fish for the hot seat. My name is Sean, and this is Jackson, and you're watching this week's hot seat. Let's see today's fifth out right, contestants. We're having Miss Fish. All right, Miss Fish, are you ready? I'm ready. Woohoo! Better be. Yes. All right. Question number one: Mayo or mustard? Mayo. Question number two: Favorite animal? Hippo. Question number three: Sushi or barbecue? Sushi. Question number four: Apple or Android? Apple, all the way. Question number five: Rain or sun? Rain. I love the rain. Question number two: Winter or summer? Winter. Question number seven: Books or movies? Books. Question number eight: Europe or Asia? Europe. Question number nine: Ice cream cone or smoothie bowl? Ice cream cone. Yes. Uh, question number ten: Which would you rather have, broken bone or sprained ankle? Sprained ankle. Okay, I think you survived. Oh, hey, Herons. Mr. Oliver here, and I just want to remind you that if you want your chance to design this year's yearbook, you need to submit your design by this Friday. So you can go ahead, you can draw it on paper, you can use Photoshop, Pixlr, Procreate, whatever you like. Just make sure that it's like an eight by 11 style design and then submit it as a JPEG or a PDF to me. And then we're gonna vote on all of the entries uh, in a couple of weeks. So we're gonna vote on that. We're gonna come up with who gets to be on the cover of this year's yearbook. Now this year's yearbook is gonna be filled with all sorts of great things, including some awesome pictures from the dance. So if you came to the dance on Friday and you got your picture either at the photo booth or you saw me walking around taking some pictures, those photos are all available online in a Google Photos album and that link is available in the description. So go ahead, check that out. You can download any of those pictures you want to remember all those memories. So remember Herons, get those designs in and we'll see if your design can be on this year's yearbook. Have a great day. What a cool book. Hey, did you go to the dance on Friday? Yeah. It was great and we got some awesome footage. Let's take a look. and let's get started. Pretty for the people were such a success. Thank you for all for donating. With that, the dance was one of the biggest events that happened for the past two years after COVID. Mmm, dancing long. Not playing. Um, well, thank you for all that came to the dance. You guys look great, and it was just an amazing event. With that, winter break is coming up. This is the last week before winter break. I hope you guys have all a great vacation and event. Okay, not gonna slay, okay. Let's go, Neo. Day on the mountain, Herons. I'm Mr. Oliver, and this is Mr. Lippard, and we run a ski bus here at Happy Valley Middle School. My bus goes up J Saturdays in January, 
and my, my bus goes up Sundays in February. So if you want any more information about this, just click on the link in the description of this episode and every future episode of Heron TV, or you can always drop by Mr. Oliver's room or Mr. Lippert's room, and you can check the parent newsletter, um, but you do have to sign up because space is limited. So check either of our websites, check the YouTube description, check the parent newsletter, but either way, get your information so that we don't miss you on the mountain. So what do you say we get back to skiing, Mr. Let's Lippert? Let's do it. Woohoo! is coming to an end but would it really be hearing TV without admin tips no it wouldn't let's hand this over to dash in this week's admin tips welcome to this week's okay. admin tips I want to do a green screen me too I want green screen I want a green screen mr. Oliver wouldn't let me no it's because you have green on do you think that's why? Uh, oh, come on. Next time. Way to go, Jamski. Okay. Way right, to go. All right, all right. Herons, hey! It's us. us? Okay. All it's us. us. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and we are here to talk to you for a little bit. Um, just a reminder, this week there are no clubs. Clubs are canceled for this week and the week that we get back. So we will resume on the week of January 9th, 2023. Whoa. Yeah. And nice job. At the dance this weekend. Oh wow! Are you doing the robot? I was the doing robot? the robot. Okay. That, that's I just busted a move. Anyway, great job with the dance. Thank you to student council for that. That was a lot of fun. And just to let you know, this week on Friday we are going to have another activity afternoon in the afternoon. So please be watching for more information. Herons, have a great winter break, and we'll see you in 2023. That was your admin last. Admin Tips of the Week for 2022. That's all for today's episode. Have a great winter break, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs>